Hello, fabulous Libra. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of July 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a phenomenal start to this astrological month right out of the gate. We are still in a period between eclipses. It is an extended eclipse period, and it is going to take us right to July 5th with the third and final eclipse as part of the season. And that is an eclipse taking place at the very foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky. This is a part of the sky that has to do with home in terms of where you live, your family of origin, your parents in particular, your understanding of your past and where it is that you've been. And it is from this place that you are able to grow forward from here. Well, this lunar eclipse will be speaking in supreme harmony with Uranus. I'm so excited about this energy for you because this is about things changing very quickly and very fortunately. Lunar eclipses tend to bring with them endings and sometimes those endings can be dramatic. Uranus likes to do things in a way that is a surprise, but when it is a supremely harmonious connection, it is a surprise that also comes with delight and a sense of good fortune. Remember, this is about closure with a lunar eclipse. So whether it is that you are realizing where it is that you want to be and where it is that you don't want to be in terms of where you live, whether it has to do with a home renovation project that you're in the midst of finally coming to an end. If it is that you have a home based business or you work from home or with homes, well, this can be very fortunate as well, bringing very quick and surprise opportunity. And if it is that this energy is showing up in your life with your family of origin, well, this can be some good news on the front having to do with one of those family members, your parents in particular, where that applies. Now, ultimately, that energy of Uranus is a blessing. It may be financial blessings as well. If there is the sale of a home, for example, or an inheritance that you've been waiting for, this energy can certainly help you in that regard. But at the same time, Wealth isn't just about uh, the financial part of it. There is emotional wealth, there is spiritual wealth, and all of that may be part of what surprises you with abundance right where you are at home now. This can be a time of changes taking place, transformations taking place that ultimately allow you to feel more at home within yourself and in the world. It is as we move forward from here, right around the 20th of July is when we will have this month's new moon. This new moon is special for a few reasons. So one of the main reasons is that if you think back to last month, we had a solar eclipse. Solar eclipses are just strong new moons. And it was at that time that we had a solar eclipse in a part of the sky for you that had to do with career. It had to do with life purpose. Well, now with this new moon, it is happening in the same part of the sky. Whereas that solar eclipse new moon happened at the very beginning of its respective sign. This one is happening towards the end. Whereas Mercury was retrograde with that solar eclipse. Now Mercury will be direct, but we have Saturn standing across the sky from this new moon with precision. And what this means is that solar eclipse new moon represented a seed. It was a very beginning and it was a hint of what could be, but also a sense that maybe there was more yet to do. But with the new moon this month, it is about understanding things from a more balanced perspective, seeing things realistically and understanding what sacrifices or what time may be involved in any opportunity that does find you. Saturn is about understanding what is worth sacrificing for so that you can manifest what you desire. And manifestation is key here. I do think a lot of Libras out there are going to experience this energy in relation to a project that you may be working on in your own time. It may have to do with a home-based venture, but it is ultimately you realizing how much time a particular endeavor is going to take, if it's going to get you to your goal, which is going to be part of helping you to understand how to best move forward. There is an energy of compromise here as well. For some, there may be a sense of compromising time with your family so that you can move towards the goals that you desire. For others still, it may be the realization that you have 
gone along a certain path as much as feels right to you and now you want to change things a little bit, refine things, or maybe even go in a different direction. Now, regardless, this is about you understanding your life from a larger perspective, having an understanding of how your efforts now are contributing to a larger legacy that you're creating for yourself. And in this way, this new moon can be a powerful time of aligning yourself with a higher and more loving vision for your life. Now, where it comes to matters of love, it is Venus now that is going to leave shadow and the last few days of the month that are especially important. It was late last month that Venus went direct, but it is going to be as we navigate into the last days of this month that Venus will first connect with Neptune. Now, this has been part of an ongoing dance. If you have been with me every week in the superstar space, or you've been watching me as I've been talking about this as we've been going along on YouTube, you know that it is this Neptune Venus ongoing dance of tension that has represented and spoke to how this Venus retrograde season has been experienced as a time when there's a whole lot of hope, there's a whole lot of wishes, but maybe even disappointment as well for you because it is Venus moving through fellow air sign Gemini. It means that you've been able to find ways to tap into this time to your advantage. But I do think that this may be a time when you're looking at where you've been in love and what your ideals are, what you had hoped for, um, what you had envisioned for love and where there is a difference. You may have to reconcile with that at this time. As Venus leaves shadow late this month, a couple of interesting phenomenons. One is that what happens now will in some way hearken to what took place back in the middle of May. But there's something else that's interesting, and that is late last month, Mars moved into your opposite sign, and it will be right around the 29th of July that Mars will enter shadow. So it becomes that much more important for you to pay attention to what is happening in your life in the context of love in particular and partnership in particular, because what may seem not necessarily as obvious very likely could represent a larger issue that you will be returning to once we navigate further. In particular, when I look at the sky, once we navigate into November, way down the line in November, that is when Mars will return to where he is towards the end of this month of July. So do pay attention to what happens in your life and you will understand matters of heart differently once we get there. For those of you who are open to meeting someone new, this very dreamy energy of Venus is still going to be with you, but your own sense of hope and idealism may be especially strong at this time. I would say that where possible, strive to stay connected to yourself and know that there are some things that you can compromise on, but some things you can't. I'm thinking about things like core values, your personal spiritual truth. If you meet somebody new and you feel that there is a sense of compromise on that level, that may not work. And it's okay to be honest about that. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, there may be a moment where you are looking at differences where it comes to the values that you hold, the spiritual values and ethics that guide your life compared to theirs and striving to understand where it matches up. At the same time though, this may be a time when you are asking yourself if some of the differences you're appreciating now are deal breakers or not. If it is that there's a genuine willingness to understand each other more deeply, then you will be able to navigate this time well. And for those of you in an established bond, it may be a sense of adventure or a sense of the truths that guide your life, but it seems like the two of you may not be on the same page as you navigate late into the month. But for all that, especially if you're in an established bond, make sure you're paying attention to what is happening in the last days of this month because of Mars. It may be that your partner starts thinking about some changes they want to make, new ventures they may want to take on, or you may start feeling like you need to be more present for your partner in a way that you hadn't anticipated. This is the beginning. 
It may start as an idea, it may start as a suggestion, but it will be more fully explored as we navigate further into the year. What I love about this week for you, well, I am going to say that lunar eclipse as we start the month, it is an important one for a few reasons. One is how fortunate the energy is and how it is that it connects you to an energy of wealth right where you are at home. But at the same time, this is the last of a series of eclipses that you have had taking place in this part of the sky since going all the way back to 2018. That is when eclipses began in this part of the sky, at the foundation of your chart, and at the very top of your chart. That cycle now is complete with this final eclipse. You won't have eclipses in these parts of the sky for you for a few years now. And so this is the moment, this is the opportunity where you get to become very clear as to what ground it is on which you stand. And you may very well find very quickly that it is fortunate ground indeed. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.